Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time and welcome to my channel. If you don't know anything about me, please check out my introductory video on our YouTube channel. I have the fortune, the honor, the privilege of living the American dream and I want to help you live your American dream. I'm going to give you an update about what to expect in stimulus negotiations this week and what is the current state of the negotiations between the Democrats and the White House, the, the Republicans and what's going on in DC this week. There are two main priorities in DC this week. One is to, to put together a bill, a clean bill. And I'll tell you what the word clean means, because I think this is something that hasn't really been discussed. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi wants to put together a clean bill to avoid a government shutdown, which means she just wants an extension of the current measures without anything extra added to it so that the so that the Democrats can keep the, the continuing resolution going and not mingle the, the extension of government funding with stimulus talks. But the Republicans, on the other hand, do not want a clean bill. They want to introduce some aspects of stimulus negotiations with the continuous funding of the government so that they can introduce some stimulus into the economy. Whereas House Speaker Pelosi and, and Chuck Schumer holding firm saying, hey, we want a large $2.2 trillion bill, whereas the Republicans want to try and get some get some stimulus relief as part of the continuing resolution. Now, I just want to be clear, a lot of Democrats are indeed starting to pressure House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to essentially uh, to amend her position so that there can be there can be some element of stimulus coming in along with the CR, the continuing resolution. There are essentially two factors that will play out in this week and they may even quite honestly drag into next week. One is to put together a package to fund the government to avoid an election season shutdown after the fiscal deadline of September 30th. And there are a growing number of House Democrats that are anxious to see some sort of stimulus. And they've been reaching out to and speaking with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. So if the stimulus talks do restart, I want my viewers and subscribers to understand that the Democrats are at 2.2 trillion. The White House said they were at 1.3 trillion. And then they did indicate that they are at 1.5 trillion. So the two sides are indeed, uh, you know, theoretically on paper getting closer together. But ideologically, I think the big factor is the aid for state and local governments. Now, Democrats want almost a trillion dollars. Uh, I believe $900 billion is, is sort of uh, the, the number that they mentioned. And the White House wants something closer to 100 to $200 billion. And uh, Democrats are not willing to budge on this at the time I'm recording this video because they think that it's something, they think that states need money. And, uh, you know, states do indeed need money, but it's, you know, um, there are two opposing points of view about do the states need that much money and a lot of unions are actually waiting for this extra money. Whereas the Republicans feel, hey, you know, what exactly are you going to use this money for? Give us a breakdown of how you're going to use the money. This was mentioned by White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows that, hey, give me the money. I'll decide what to do with it later. So the Democrats believe that the states need more money and they are not willing to budge on that. So that's where things stand right now. Now, Here's what's interesting. I mentioned the Problem Solvers Caucus before, and uh, I have also mentioned, and in fact, Jake Sherman has mentioned this, that the Problem Solvers Caucus has never has never really solved any problem. It's really windy here. I uh, wow. I wonder. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, and I don't know. I don't know how good a job the my noise cancellation headset is doing, but. Uh, it, it, there's a lot of wind here, but the Problem Solvers Caucus said that they plan to release some sort of a stimulus bill with the support of several dozen lawmakers from both sides. So they're trying to create or introduce bipartisan stimulus legislation. And by the way, the probability of the Problem Solvers Caucus coming up with some sort of a solution that's accepted by both parties, I'm going to be completely honest with you, is not very high because they haven't really gotten a huge majority behind them. But listen, anything is possible in this climate. I wouldn't be surprised if all of a sudden a whole bunch of senators and lawmakers and House representatives from both sides support the Problem Solvers Caucus, which in turn would put pressure on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. But House Speaker Pelosi does have a lot of power, does have a lot of leverage in this situation, and she is holding strong. And, you know, it's also quite anything executive orders might happen how they'll happen is something that you know we'll find out but in this environment anything is possible and i want my viewers and subscribers to understand exactly what is going on so the problem solvers caucus uh said that they would actually negotiate uh against house speaker nancy pelosi i don't know if they'll have enough traction to do that and lower 
the the ask from the democrats so the problem solvers caucus are actually going to lower the the big state and local ask which is 900 billion dollars remember how how speaker pelosi wanted that much and uh, they're trying to get enough support for a new plan um but again i don't know if enough democrats and enough republicans will support the problem solvers caucus to create enough traction to move the needle it doesn't look like it right now but you know stranger things have happened a lot there's been a lot of drama in the last few weeks and i wouldn't be surprised if unusual things happen in the next uh, week or two so that's where that's where things are so again the problem solvers caucus um has uh, has not solved any major problems so far and they have been working on a plan to quietly try and attract as much interest as they can from both sides of the aisle and they have been in touch with the white house in fact uh, the group which is co-chaired by uh Josh Gottenheimer who's a democrat from New Jersey and Tom Reed who's a republican from New York they have been in touch with the white house again we don't know how much traction that uh, they are getting now broadly speaking there are you know um house speaker pelosi and the democrats are standing firm and by the way so is the administration the administration is not willing to budge on state and local aid i mean there are two points of view right if the administration budges on state and local aid there could be chances of a deal if the if the democrats budge there could be you know there could be a chance of the white house saying all right you know let's 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 negotiate further but the democrats have already said that they came down from their 3.4 trillion dollar ask in the heroes act down to 2.2 trillion dollars so there are three broad directions for the democrats to take in this situation number one they can just sit and wait and they can wait for the administration to budge they can wait for the other side uh to to capitulate if you will because this is again i've mentioned this before this is a political contest as much as it is an economic contest and unfortunately you know unfortunately um, you know millions of individuals are stuck in between and it's it's sad and it's tragic they can possibly this is the second option they can possibly vote on a different version of the heroes act a scaled down version if you will but uh, i don't see the democrats actually doing that and all the democrats will want you know their their sort of act their preferred policies their preferred agendas to be incorporated in the bill so i don't see how they can actually come to a consensus internally uh, about a, a scaled down version of the heroes act the other thing the leadership could do the democratic leadership could do is put in some votes on individual policies in other words they could they could take a piecemeal approach they could work on enhanced unemployment they could work on a testing program and they could work on an extension of the paycheck protection program remember the peace peel approach has been has been rejected by democrats so far it was something that the republicans suggested but i wouldn't be surprised if the democrats say you know what let's just do it peace meal because the pain is continuing there's you know there's too much there's 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 too much pain that our constituents are going through and by the way speaking of pain and constituents if anyone wants to write letters to president trump um to house speaker nancy pelosi be my guest i think it's a good thing to do i also think it's a good idea uh, to take a template of a letter that i wrote for our community and send that to local lawmakers send that to local senators send that to local congressmen i will provide you with the link to that letter that was created to be sent to your local lawmakers and you can then take that letter amend it if you want and you can simply send it uh, online to local lawmakers you don't even have to send it by snail mail so you can do that if you want every little effort counts your voice counts every little effort counts so please consider doing that so that's where you know growing uh, the, the the way things stand right now is and this is a fact a growing number of house democrats are communicating to their leadership that they're extremely frustrated because they're hearing from their constituents about the pain that's being felt locally and nobody likes the fact that the stimulus talks have broken down and the two uh, sides aren't talking the heroes act was passed 4 months ago and uh, democrats are saying that uh, they need something on the campaign trail because keep in mind there are 35 senators up for re-election in november in addition to the presidential election and 435 house seats so uh, you know there are 12 democratic senators there are 23 republican senators that are up for re-election and they said that um, that simply blaming the 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 majority leader Mitch McConnell is not enough they need actual they need actual actions that they can then use on the campaign trail to try and be re-elected and and that's what they're talking about right now and uh, they 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 simply want something to be done and there is essentially again pressure on house speaker nancy pelosi and i just want to be clear i don't think that we'll see a government shutdown so i do think there will be a cr a continuing resolution because both sides agree on it but this is the interesting thing house speaker nancy pelosi does want a clean cr whereas the republicans want to include 
some sort of stimulus uh, aspect to the CR, the continuing resolution. Every single day that goes by, the chances of stimulus relief become smaller and smaller. Um, the pressure that is being felt by both sides is, is enough for them to want to make public appearances. But at this point, nothing definitive, nothing concrete has happened. I want my viewers and subscribers to prepare for the future. I'm going to do my best to educate you uh, to prepare for a better future uh, with our new financial freedom series, the new world of money. So please make sure you click like, you subscribe, you enable notifications so that you can get that information and you can hopefully build a better future for yourself financially. Also, everybody, please let me know in the comment section below what you think about the current state of stimulus negotiations. Do you think the Problem Solvers Caucus can indeed get enough traction to move the needle? Do you think that Democrats should budge in their position? Let me know if you what you think about these things below. Please comment below. Please let me know what you think. I love interacting with our community. Please also share this video with friends and family. This way your friends and family know why our channel is one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube in the world of personal finance, in the world of news and current affairs, stimulus checks, unemployment benefits. Definitely make sure that you share this video with friends and family. Thank you so much, everybody. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda. If you don't know anything about me, check out my introductory video. I have the fortune, the honor, the privilege of living the American dream. I will never get tired of saying that I am a beneficiary of American exceptionalism. I am a symbol of the greatness of America and I want to help you live your American dream if you give me the opportunity. And I do believe you can, you can live the American dream and I will lead you there. And hopefully you can do even better than I did. Our Instagram handle is ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. So make sure to follow us on Instagram for exclusive content on Instagram. Please click like. Please subscribe. Please enable notifications for instant updates going forward. Now, sometimes YouTube does not send out notifications. So bookmark our channel, youtube.com forward slash ignition time. Again, that's youtube.com forward slash ignition time. This way you'll never miss a single video from our channel. Again, you can just visit our homepage and you can watch all the videos, even if YouTube does not send out notifications. Now, you can also get email alerts from us. Go to ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts. That's ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts. So you can get email alerts from us going forward. You can also get your cell phone out, send a text message with the word ignition or with the word time to 70,000. That's 70000. And you can get on our SMS list. Now you can opt out of our SMS list or our email list at any point in time. Remember, we release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week. So make sure you please click like, subscribe, enable notifications. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.